Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're gonna be painting the car. But before we paint, we gotta prep it, send down the primer, and let's get this done. So the primer has dried. Looks pretty good. So for the next step, we're gonna need all of this so we're going to start out by sanding the primer with 320 600 block sanding everything we're going to spray a little bit of this on top of the primer so it helps us guide sand it and then after we sand down the primer we're going to sand the rest of the door with 1500 and the quarter panel all the way out here where we're gonna do the blending we're gonna have to send it all down to 1500 Next thing we're going to do, we're going to water sand with 320. We're going to start with 320, then move on to 600. After sanding it to this point where you can barely see the black, we're going to stop sanding with 320 and move on to 600 because that shows us that we've got pretty good smooth primer going. And so if we keep sanding with 320, we might hit the, the bondo and we don't want to do that. So we're going to stop there and then get some 600 and sand it to complete white, get all this rest of the black off all these little dots and we should be done after sanding it with the 600 grid we get a nice smooth finish looks pretty good now it's time to get it ready for paint <music> We're gonna, we also removed the lock thing and the rubber piece going around the door edge. And now we're gonna send it down with 1500 all the way up here and the whole door. Everything sanded down, all the clear coat off. Now, what we're going to do is wash the whole car, try to get all the dirt off of it, and get all this floor washed out. Everything 
done. Quarter panel is all done. It's already ready for paint. The door is all done. It's also ready for paint. We washed the whole car on the outside. Make sure we got all the dust off of it from all the Bondo sanding and everything else with it. We washed all of the floors. They're nice and squeaky clean. And we'll be back tomorrow and start painting it. So we're back and we need to get this garage ready to paint. So we're gonna block off this whole side where I got my work area is. I already start moving all my toolboxes from that side to there. And I got my cart ready. I use this cart mainly for my bodywork paint stuff. So you can roll it around and it's pretty nice and good. So we're gonna need all of this. Some reducer, clear coat, I use the Transtar. And then tape, paper, gloves, spray gun, the paint. It's gonna be 41W. And if you see my other videos, I painted this car roughly about eight months ago. And I made sure to get extra paint just in case something happens in the future. And luckily for me, it's only been six months. So I don't have to do any color matching. And I can just start painting and not worry about making sure the color matches. <music> So we covered all this side off and we got some extra lighting in. Now we're gonna blow off the car one more time with some air, the door, and start taping it all off. After getting it all taped off, now it's time to mix the paint and start painting. <music>
sprayed our last layer of paint and we're just going to wait until it dries. So for the clear coat we're going to use Transtar. It's 2 to 1 ratio with a little bit of reducer and we're going to mix it up and then we're going to spray it all down. <music> dry it is super cold outside we got 28 degrees outside so hopefully it dries in the next two three days and then we're gonna have to come in and give it a little buff because we got a little spots where it needs a little tiny buff here and there but other than that it's not too bad for painting at 28 degrees and we're back on third day and the clear coat is dry for the most part and it looks pretty good we got a few little dust particles that we're gonna buff out later but other than that we got pretty good paint and clear so for our next step we're gonna put the door back on the door handles the trim and put it back on the car and then we're gonna Give it a few days and come back later and probably three days, four days and buff out the little imperfections we got and buff out this transition right here. Right about here. So it's gonna all look nice and smooth. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to see more videos like this or more videos make sure you subscribe to the channel because my next project is gonna be my personal project and it's gonna be one interesting project let's just say that we will not be painting so it's not gonna be another paint video but if you guys do want to see it make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you then.